toilet paper candles. I hope they're not shitty. So what we're doing is here, we're taking the hot glue and we're applying it to your toilet paper roll, paper towel roll, or maybe if you have wrapping paper roll. You can always cut them in half, adjust the size. Toilet paper rolls, you probably need about half a stick to one stick, depending on how thick you're going to do your wax. These paper towel tubes, each of them utilized about a stick, and that's just for one layer. If you want to do multiple layers, you're probably going to need about two glue sticks. Um, but I found the best technique. You want to start uh, closer to where you want the bottom of the drip. Go for a nice big squeeze, and then move on up, and that'll create a nice drip at the bottom. You see that? Sounds like an exercise. And squeeze, and we're gonna lift it up. You can see how it's coming along with those nice drips on the bottom. When you do it also, just make sure you make a nice little uh, hot glue right around the top rim too. So that way, it's falling from somewhere. Some people do multiple layers. I don't think I have 17 hours to devote to a glue gun and a toilet paper roll that's been used. So I'm only gonna do one layer around, dry it, and, uh, and then we'll get to painting. I've actually burnt myself about seven times now. Ow. Ow! I thought I was proficient with the glue gun, but apparently not. With these uh, little wispy pieces of glue, um, they just, yeah, they seem to just go all over. Yeah, you see that? It's attached to my arm. Try not to knock these over. The uh, progress I've made so far. Reload your glue stick if you need it. Good thing I've got a witch chin, nice and pointy. It helps me with fixing the glue stick. Here we go. Mind you, you might need a little pair of gloves. I'm starting to blister. Typically you don't squeeze a glue gun for three hours straight, but disparate times call for decorating toilet paper tubes, right? Happy Halloween. All right, make sure you have a nice flat surface to do your work here, maybe on a grass, or if you're doing it somewhere else, put a board down or some cardboard, something to keep the area protected. Here's where that stick or pencil might come into play. It helps so you don't spray it all over your hand. It also helps hold your tube upright. And it gives you a little twirl effect too. I just use spray paint. Like I said, you could use a can and a brush. The bottom part will not really be showing, but if you would like to go ahead and paint it, you can. If you have a brush, just get right in there. If you have a spray paint can, just try and get that bottom about half inch or so. Put it in a nice safe place to dry. And there you go. You've got your painted tube. All right, once the paint's all dry, it's time to make a little hole for your fishing line. Don't do it where there's already glue. It makes it a little hard. Try and do it where there's just some cardboard. You want to make it even on the other side as well, directly across. You also want to make sure it's just low enough for the tea light to sit in, but also high enough so the flame on the tea light flicker candle will be able to be sticking out so you can see it. Then you want to go ahead and get your line and thread it on through on both sides. And then we're going to tie a knot. You're probably going to want to tie about 10 knots to hold it in place. And then we're going to stick our push pin through one of those little knots so that way it stays in place. The tea light's going to sit right on that fishing string. If you're having any trouble with it, just get some tape or double-sided tape and tape it on. If you're having trouble getting it to stick Ooh. in the ceiling like I did, here's where you're going to use that Gorilla Glue and put a tiny dab on the tip of that push pin and stick it right in the ceiling. Hold a little pressure for about one or two seconds. And there you have it. Happy holidays. You are so deserving. Hopefully the four friends I'm inviting will have imbibed enough and they'll think they're just fabulous. Maybe they won't take one home as a souvenir. Too bad they can't. I'll save them for next year. <laughs> Order! <laughs>